Breaking news, Nigerians. Senator moves motion for suspension of Kayamo's ministerial screening. <laughs> Everywhere just the boil like hot water. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, there is drama at the Senate plenary as a senator has demanded the suspension of screening of a ministerial nominee from Delta State, Festus Kayamo. Politics Nigeria reports that the senator representing Abia Central Senatorial District, Da Darlington Wokocha, on Monday moved a motion for the suspension of the former Minister of State, Labor and Employment, Festus Kayamo. Wokocha's motion was seconded by a senator from Abia South Senatorial District, Enyinaya Abaribe. The Senate's president, Godwin Okbabio, thereafter subjected the motion to a voice vote, but the lawmakers were divided on the matter. This publication reports that the Red Chamber is in a rowdy session as at press time. The Senate is in a closed door section to deliberate on the motion. It stems from Kayamo refusal to honor the Ninth National Assembly summons in the administration. They say Kayamo no get respect for National Assembly, and for that reason, he can never be a minister again in this region because he not get respect. He they talk anyhow when he like, and this and that. If you can recall that the U.S. even tagged him a fake news carrier during campaigns and all that, he could just sit down for his bedroom, he go form one news against the oppositions, then go carry the news, so now they go, they there, you know, they put fire, they put onions, they put pepper inside the worker, you understand? Until when they come some more demands, they say, you two, they talk like, you two, they cook, uh, carry you know, fake, fake news. But the matter when they hear now, they, they say the man is too, is too proud. He's too proud. He ignored, he ignored the, the, the Ninth National Assembly summons. In the last administration, he was summoned. He refused to come. He refused to obey. So these are the people who want to be minister in Nigeria. See, eh? are they always they talk this thing? Whether you like it or not, whether you like me or you hate me, you know, you know, be my concern. But as far as this government is concerned, anybody who is expecting miracle, you are your own. After all, they don't see talk up. Oshomo, they don't talk up. Is anybody when they expect miracle from a uh, Bola Metunubu, you are your own because Bola Metunubu did not promise anybody miracle. You get there is nothing, no change. When anybody is expecting change from what happened during President um, uh, Muhammad Buhari's turn off from here, you are just deceiving yourself. You understand? If you look at what is going on, the same set of people, the same set of people, you can, you can, you, <laughs> you can understand that now so as we did do them before, now so we go do them again. So nothing is going to change. You see, these politicians, once they assume public office, they don't already assume themselves as Lord. They are above the law. Mostly when you have a backing from the presidency, oh, you are made. You understand? They are complaining there is scoop in Niger. When I said that plan, I yesterday start. Echo was members, they should, they should sit down and ask themselves questions. Political leaders assume themselves as gods. You understand? Even all these ones, all these people, when they talk, since they don't nominate them, the president say, I'll be the president, don't talk, say, now nah, go go. If they like, he made them talk, this and this, go must go. So that is why they will never change. You get? That is why they will never change. They can never change. Nothing will make them to change. Because nobody is being held responsible 
for whatever they do. You get nobody is being held responsible or accountable for uh, whatever they do. So anything they do, no wahala. This is a country where snake swallow money, and that will be the end of the matter. This is a country whereby you are someone of um, a fraud or whatever. The next day you will see the person with wheelchair in court and all that, or stretcher, and they will tell you that the person is very sick. That will be the end of the matter. Nigerians, only when we can rescue ourselves from the hands of these people by throwing tribalism, by throwing religion out and face the reality, that is the only way Nigeria can be Liber uh, liberated. As far as these people are concerned, as far as we continue with this, now my kinsman, we are of the same faith. This, that, and all that. We can never be, be liberated, uh, uh, liberated by these people. Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba, they have a common enemy, but they don't understand themselves. Politicians, we use tribalism, you know, to set problem. They will not allow the masses to be fighting themselves when they watch you and get what they want to get. So by the time we go borrow sense, put for the one when we get, that is the only way Nigeria can move. And then we will not identify those who do not want us to move forward. Without that, forget about it. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel.